Peace and mercy be unto you from God, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Tuesday. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have to my left. Mr. To my Renee Jr. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we've been talking about the fear of the Lord. Keep your mouth from evil. Yes. Before the fear of the Lord comes, the fear of the Lord, we have to understand that we keep our mouth from evil. Um, I, I want to talk about also our, our lack of understanding of um, connection with people create gossip. You understand that? Right. Because a lot of times we connect with people or friendship within the church. Um, and w one thing, you know, e e even myself mm -hmm. and even I watch among people, when people first come, people want to be with on their faces and want to talk too quickly mm -hmm. and be friendly. Mm -hmm. I do believe that at first we have to watch people. Absolutely. There, there have to be a moment to watch. And a lot of times you have to understand people when they first come to church, they're not totally healed from certain things. Right. They're not totally delivered from certain things. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be over friendly. You should show love, mm -hmm. but not open yourself into a point. Yeah. And a lot of times, this is something that I learned from my own self and this level, and I've seen at different levels of ministry that we too quickly want to bring people in into our circle, bring people in into our lives, bring people in into our home. And not allowing God to detox them and not allowing God to do certain things. Now, I, I've learned that there's certain parts of you some people should never see. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, how Paul talks That's about yeah. that, um, you know, if you eat food from the voodoo priest, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. you, met, you eat food, for you it's nothing. Because you, you know who you believe. Right. But <laughs> if your brother who ain't free yet, right. see you see, do, do that. that. Yeah. then all of a sudden that can become a gossip. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, so do not let your freedom mm -hmm. be something that yeah. somebody who not on your level That's it. Yeah. be into so that can cause an issue because they're not free like you free. Mm -hmm. right. So now what you do can become a conversation in the church, a conversation to other people. How can she do that? Don't you know? Because they don't understand the level of your um, um spirituality, the level where God would have you to be. So now there's some people who can understand that, um, yes, yes, you're a deacon, yes, you're a minister, yes, yes you're a prophet, yes, you're an evangelist, mm -hmm. but this, the evangelist is still a human being. Yeah. Right. So now you have to protect your humanity from, from, ba uh, from those babies who are still suckling from the spiritual milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. So some babies may not understand your freedom and how you be and how you act. And you're like, it don't affect me none. That's, mm -hmm. I'm at that level and that's who I am. But because now they're not on that level, they begin to look at you funny. They begin to judge you. And that turns to gossip and that turns to bitterness. So we have to understand that as we come to church, um, everyone is not the same age. Right. Everyone is not the same spiritual level. Mm -hmm or spiritual ages. Right. So you have to connect with people on your level. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, you can't bring certain things too close to you, too close to your environment because your environment of your freedom can um, mess them up. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's good. Amen. Yes. Amen. So you have to protect them by keeping them away from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. Yes. And also, there is a level, especially for leaders, there have to be a level of professionalism in your part. There have to be a level of, of, of knowing your boundaries. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. No, knowing your boundaries, how you deal with certain people, what you say to them. It is all aware that because those things, what it does is, Usually gossip come from what people see and how they interpret something or how they view you. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not be anything you do. They just see your face. They don't like your face. Right. Or they yeah. use that as to be, I discern yeah. something. That, yeah. that, uh, there's a spirit on her. You know, mm -hmm. you didn't do nothing wrong. There's a yeah. spirit on her. And they go tell their friend, there's a spirit on her. There's a demonic spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's also considered gossip, but that has nothing to do with you. That have to do with their own immaturity yeah. and who they are. But there is something you are responsible for. This is why I say...
to people as leaders, you shouldn't ride with certain people. Hello. Because then sheep talks a certain way. Hello. Yes. Yes. And then now, pretty soon, you're supposed to hold the staff and guide them. Next thing you know, you, you, you're in the car. Bah, bah, bah. So now you're talking like sheep yeah. Yeah. instead of talking like right. a leader. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things as a leader, you have to protect yourself from being gossiped by separating yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us don't want to be separated and consecrated in God. Mm -hmm. And I think that type of consecration will keep evil speech, will keep whispering, will keep, because guess what happened? As leaders, even, I, you know, as a pastor, I hear people, oh yeah, this person was saying this in the car. This person was saying so-and-so. So this is why it's best to separate yourself. Right. Because leaders should be able to have conversation with other leaders, maybe. Right. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Because you have to test that leader if you can talk to them. Right. And just because that you are a, a leader doesn't mean we should trust you. That's right. Hello. Right. You understand? So I believe that to negate gossip and to negate the spirit of gossip, we have to look at a maturity level and also faithfulness of people right. which determine time. Yes. Faithfulness of, of them to be able to be trustworthy and mm -hmm. ministry and mm -hmm. anything else. Because the problem is what I learned, my fault is, man, I go out there, man, because I see potential in people. I throw the pearls right out there. I'm like throwing pearls left and right. <laughs> but but to pigs, um, pearls don't have value. So that means that you have to understand people when they go to a place that certain things that you put before them, they right. understand the value. Right. Um, some people never understood the value of ministry. Right. The, 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 uh, you know, you know, Pat, the old church understood, oh, it's, it's a, a point to, to serve God. Yes. Now they throw it like, hey, I'm angry, boom. Right. I'm upset, boom. I don't like this. Boom. So we have to understand in the season on leadership level, pastoral level, and every level, we have to go into maturity. Yeah. What we are giving people, because then what you're giving people, which they don't appreciate, can be a conversation of gossip. Yes. So on every level, there have to be a maturity and there have to be a, a, a growth so that people do not talk bad about God or do not come into a place they're not supposed to get into or step into yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand that? Mm -hmm. And uh, who you calling your friend in the church and who you calling, not especially, I believe leaders, just like they say, jobs should not go into a relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. Meaning this, that there's a certain level on which you have to minister to the sheep. You can't be too close. Mm -hmm. You can't be too close before um, there's uh, too much comfortability with you mm -hmm. where you're no longer effective. Right. And even as a pastor, you got to stay on top of the mountain. As long as much you want to come with the people, you cannot come. Because coming down is um, injustice for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to stay up there. Mm -hmm. You got to be separate. You got That's what you're a leader. You're separate. You're by yourself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you are unapproachable. Right. But I have to stay in a position for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Because all these things and friendship is we are all brothers in Christ, sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. But everything else after that needs to be determined. And because we get into a situation to people who's not healed yet, you get infected again mm -hmm. and you draw back and then we have gossip in the church. And then we have to have whistle. One of the things I learned in church is that most of the problem, you know, I'm going to tell the truth. Leaders did not bark because I think they believed they were um, sheep instead of dogs. Because mm. dogs bark. My dog, mm. when my dog says something, um, you know, my dog says something when they're trying to step in. We begin to bark. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Leaders who are sheep going right along with them. And allow gossip to happen, and allow things to be underhanded, to flow. So now I can never deal with anything. And then when I ask them what happened, they say, Oh, I thought you knew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
see the problems that we have in and that things have to change. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hmm? Good. We're gonna deal with divine um divine order. Mm. Part of the fear of the Lord is divine order. We have to understand divine order. And once people and I've learned that the things that cause gossip to happen, when leaders are too close to the sheep, they hold for them. Mm. What they out to reveal. Mm. They don't even check it. It's like, oh, that's my friend. I'm going to hold it. Right. Or come two two years later. Did you see? Right. <laughs> two years later to tell me what happened. Lord have mercy. But anyway, we have, we are, for gossip to, to stop, we have to understand the levels of people we are in in the church. Not everybody is in the same place as you are. Understand you're talking to a child and not the adult mm -hmm. so that you'd be disappointed when children talk a lot. Children talk a lot. Mm -hmm. So you know that's a child. Yes. You can't tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that if you're going to have connection, you're going to have connection with the same age, mm -hmm. with the same people at your level. Right. Not people, not, um, um, because to be a, you can be a leader and be a child, and you can be a leader and be right. immature. Mm -hmm. You can be a leader and be the head gossip that a lot of things to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You can be a pastor and be the head gossip mm -hmm. and, and, and um, entertain that. You understand? So it doesn't, my position does not exempt the same thing from happening or any level because pastors are gossipers, they're human. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. So we all have to learn and determine relationship as it goes along and see time to see who's faithful. Not only faithful and coming to church because you can be faithful coming to church and still be a gossiper. You're only there to see what's going on so you can talk. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Amen. Amen. You come early so you can hear stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, it's a, so, so, so it doesn't mean because people show up, they're faithful. Right. We have to look in the, in the faithfulness of the maturity of the tongue and the mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I pray that Amen. bless you. Press, um, share it like this morning. For you get to work safe. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renan. After my left. Minister Renee Jr. We have one thing to say to you. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. God bless you.